Dax Shepard uh, says he's very good at giving relationship and love advice. You know, I call it like I see it. So okay. I've come to think of myself and you've as pretty astute. You've helped people. One or two. Okay. Yeah. Out of how many? Dozens. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we have some people that need uh, Selma Coat. Where's Selma? Oh, Hi. great. Hi, Selma. All right. Hi. Hi, Selma. Hi. Um, my question is, what is a way of keeping things interesting in the bedroom after being together for a long time? How long is a long time? Over Do 10 we? years. Over 10 years. Like, how many over? Huh? How many? How, how long have you been together? Three years. Three years, OK. <laughs> this is a little concerning. So she's yeah. thinking of the future already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just a planner. First of all, let me just say that I applaud you for bringing this topic up because I do believe that the single hardest thing people talk about in a relationship is sex because it triggers our very scariest, worst fears, or at least it does mine, that you would maybe not be enough for your partner. So I would start by asking yourself, what would make things fun for you in the bedroom? And then I, th I think I would introduce that to your partner, and this is key, in a way that's not like, hey, I'd like to do whips and chains. Because if I'm your boyfriend, I go, OK, A, she's already done whips and chains. <laughs> I don't know how to do whips and chains. And I'm going to let her down big time. I'm now in a, a spiral panic about how I'm going to underwhelm you. <laughs> so it's really important that you go, I read the weirdest thing that people are into whips and chains. <laughs> Right? This isn't something you're obsessing about. This is this just came out. You, uh, did you hear this, people? And then you kind of open it up that way. That, for me, that's what I would prefer. That it could be a fun thing you could stumble through together. Thank you. I like that. That's a good idea. Yeah. Could you give me an out of 10 on each of these? Out of 10? Because you were really nervous about Yeah, I think that's a 10 out of 10. I oh, think, wow. I think, first of all, yes, you should start with whatever. Think about yourself. Like, when you're saying keep things interesting, you're talking about yourself. Obviously, you're the bored one. You're asking the question. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so think about what you want. And then I love that, that just like, hey, you know, this is weird. I read this. DiMaggio mm. House. DiMaggio House. <laughs> Hi. Uh, so my question is, uh, uh, dinner, what dinner date night meal constitutes for sex? Mm-hmm. <laughs> really good guy question. He probably lost you. <laughs> Did he lose you? Yeah, I didn't know food was a lead-in to, like, like, <laughs> like if oh, you're yeah. having a certain food that makes you want to have sex. Now, when we're in the locker room, not the one that the president's in, but when we're, when we're in the <laughs> locker room, <laughs> It's kind of well known that if you want to get lucky, you've got to take your lady to dinner and really pour it on a bit, right? What I would say to you is the dinner is pretty much immaterial. The restaurant, what really has to happen is you have got to ask your lady some questions. You've got to be interested in her. Not like, how was your day? And then that's a wrap on that. It's like, you need a deep dive. I don't think it's about the restaurant or the meal. I think it's about your attention, your interest in her. Because I think what we all fear is that we're boring to and that there's the whole thing's stagnant. So I think the more you let her know, like, I'm still very interested in you. I don't think I know everything about you. I think you're going to be going to Boom Boom Town. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Arby's. All right. Um, Jonah Tarasi, where's T Jonah? Hi, Jonah. Oh. All right. Uh huh. This is a. I'm, th I think it's gonna be spicy. This is a good question. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My question for you is, I'm wondering how you feel about having sex while your children have friends sleeping over for the night. <laughs> parent to parent question. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> All right. I guess for, for me, this is more a question of what is the noise level? <laughs> Are you lighting fireworks during coitus? Are there cymbals involved? Does your lover have a drum set? <laughs> Out of 10, 10's a freight train. <laughs> Zero is called 911, he's unconscious. Where are you at on the noise spectrum? Where are you at on the noise spectrum? So, six, seven. Oh, geez, Louise. No, absolutely not. I'll tell you why. It all sounds good when you're thinking about yourself, but then when I imagine my daughter's at your house and she has to hear your accountant husband <laughs> and, you're, and she's nervous you might be getting assaulted because you're at a seven, 
That's a good experience for your child, but not mine. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> 11? That's like a, for sure, that's 11. This okay. needs to be a regular segment on the show. I'll because do it. you're doing it, yes, right? You're doing a, a service. Should I dress differently? <laughs> I like that. Please also take this uh, advice with the grain of salt that I'm wearing mechanics overalls. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. All right.